The Nothing Ear 2 is said to be amazing, but how does it compare to the AirPods Pro 2? Well, today we're gonna compare everything and see if these are a great value, especially if you have an iPhone. But to make sure we get proper results, I'll also test it with the Nothing Phone. Now, inside of the box, I really like their packaging and design. They gave you this cool looking USB Type-C cable and then some different ear tips to perfectly fit. And then pulling out the case, this thing looks amazing. Now it's very similar to the original one, but I can't help but just admire the design and the look, this transparent uh, case, and then the earbuds themselves, where you see uh, the board there and the little details. It is just so unique and cool compared to the AirPods Pro 2, which we're all just used to, and so many companies just copy the design. Now, just like the AirPods Pro 2, the design changes are minimal, but it's what's inside that really matters. And with this case, if you have a nothing phone, when you open it up, it can actually see the case and the earbuds, their charge level, just like with your AirPods Pro. Now, one downside though, is that the case is quite a bit larger and thicker than the AirPods Pro 2, which is one thing that I love about the AirPods. It's such a small case, you can barely tell it's in your pocket. Pulling out the earbuds, they have a similar design where you have the stem right here compared to the AirPods, but the little bulb shape is a little bit different. It looks a little bit smaller. And then putting it in, it does feel nice and comfortable. I switched to larger tips. And one thing I love is that the controls are pretty much identical, a copy of the AirPods where you can click and then double click and then you can press and hold if you want to enable uh, the noise cancellation or the transparency mode, just like with the AirPods. It even has somewhat of a similar click. And here in the app, we see some details here and we also have this menu where we have a very similar slider to the iPhone. And now let's compare the noise cancellation. I have some airplane sound right here and we'll see how the Nothing Ear 2s compare to one of the best in terms of noise cancellation. I'm gonna go ahead and play that right there. Definitely loud, let's turn on noise canceling. Okay, wow, almost all of the low end went away. I still hear quite a bit of the high end. And now for the Nothing Ear 2, let's play that. Okay. Okay, so you definitely hear more of the airplane sound with the nothing ears. Now I hear less of the high end, a lot of the low end's gone too, but more of that middle kind of sound is apparent. Now here in the app, there's also an option called personalized active noise cancellation. Now that just ran through and listened to the environment and it tuned it. it, did make it a little bit better, not a huge difference though. And one interesting thing is with these, when I turn towards my laptop, the sound gets quieter, but then when I turn away, it gets a little bit louder. So depending how the microphone picks it up. So overall, I would say that the AirPod Pros 2 do take out more of that sound. Now Vadim, go ahead and say something. Hey, what's up man? You're definitely quieter. And now with the AirPods Pro, Vadim, say something. Hey, what's up man? Identical. Really? So your voice is identical. I might even hear a little bit more of the high end with these. Now, as far as transparency mode, let me switch it. Vadim, how are you doing today? Pretty good, man. How do I sound? Amazing, identical. AirPods are so good Thank at you. this. <laughs> and with the nothing, let's how switch do I over. Sound, man? Pretty good. You sound like you're a little bit sick, like you have a head cold. A little bit muted. Oh, really? <laughs> so it must be the microphones and what they can pick up. Now I'm guessing that's because the microphones just aren't picking up the high ends as well. So here's a recording from the Nothing Ear 2. And this is the microphone quality of the AirPods Pro 2. You guys let me know which one sounds better down below. Now these are $149 earbuds that have all of those features and some more compared to $249. So with that said, let's go ahead and compare the sound quality. We're gonna listen to three songs, starting out with the Max Tech Classic, and you guys will hear what I'm listening to and see the difference. Okay, well, the AirPods are a lot louder 
They have a little bit more low end bass and the highs especially are a lot more sharp. Now DMS on YouTube compared the frequency response and this chart shows that Apple boosts up the highs and the bass more so than the nothing, which has a more natural, true to the source sound, which is crazy. Now the cool thing is they have an EQ built in unlike the iPhone and I had that set to the default balance mode, but you can actually go in and use a different preset or you can customize it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the mids down just a tiny bit to zero there, kick up the treble, and I'm gonna kick up the bass just a little bit. And now I did some listening and they do sound better to my preference. They sound very similar to the AirPods Pro 2. The highs are not as sharp, but they're smooth. They sound excellent. It's a great sounding sound, uh, just not as loud. So with that tuning, let's go ahead and switch to our next track, Classic by Joe Kim. All right, well for that one, I turned the AirPods down a bit so they wouldn't be as loud so it would match up and I'm shocked by how close the Nothing Ear 2 sound to the AirPods Pro 2, which even audiophiles like these now. Now, I went and I tuned the equalizer and in this case, it actually had a little bit too much bass, more bass than the AirPods. I actually preferred the mids on here. Some of the instruments came out better, but for the highs, the AirPods are a little bit more sharp, which I like. I'm just really surprised by how close they sound other than the volume difference. And for our last song, we have a rock track that has a ton of instruments that are mixed together. And this is great for testing out driver performance. Well, can't believe I'm gonna say this, <laughs> but the Nothing Ear 2 sounded better in this track than the AirPods Pro 2. And I love how good these sound. I am absolutely shocked right now. Um, basically, the AirPods do have a better sound stage, um, and that's without this, the spatialized audio turned on, but these sounded better in the mids. I heard more separation between some of the instruments and it sounded a little bit smoother, and I'm absolutely shocked. Now, I could go into the app, and then I can go in and I can uh, turn up the treble if I wanted a little bit more, um, but wow, for $149, I am very impressed. Now, in the easier songs, these sounded better. Uh, very close, though, but all the headphones that I've compared that are roughly 150 bucks don't stand a chance compared to AirPods Pro 2. These actually do in terms of sound quality. Um, the only thing is they don't get as loud. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pair them to my iPhone because sometimes earbuds paired to an iPhone will play louder. All right, well, it did play slightly louder. Not that big of a difference though. And the sound quality still sounds very good. It's not a big difference between it. Um, I am just very impressed. I'm glad we test three different styles of tracks because these drivers are performing really, really well with this difficult song. So overall, um, it's very impressive. Now, noise cancellation, not as good, but still quite good. And transparency mode, not as good, but what is as good as AirPods. But the sound quality, I am just very thoroughly impressed. And this is a big upgrade compared to the original. So good job, nothing. And if you're out there, use Android, or even if you use iPhone and you're looking for an alternative, 
This is a great alternative as it has a ton of different features and has a lower price and they're very unique as well. Uh, if you guys want me to test these out more with the iPhone, everyday use, how it works, let me know down in the comment section below if you'd be interested in a video about that. But overall, great product. Go ahead and click that circle above to subscribe. Check out one of those videos right over there. This has been Max and I'll see you in the next one.